we go. We are going to work these equations dealing with nuclear decay. So as I start off, it says alpha decay of uranium-238, the most common isotope of uranium. So when I have uranium-238, Ninety-two is the atomic number of uranium, straight off the periodic table. I know that if I'm having alpha decay, it's one of the easier ones because I told you, the four over two helium, okay, that's the alpha particle right there. So just, just simply by doing my math here, The number that I'm going to get is 238 minus 4 is going to be 234. 92 minus 2 is 90. And we said before that that is thorium. Now, what would you have for me? How did you know where to get the That's an alpha particle. Okay? If it's undergoing alpha decay, that's what's happening. You're going to see here when we work another one what happens when we have, you know, a beta particle, okay? Because I've got an example. That's why I did this. I've got an example of each type of nuclear decay that we're going to go through, okay? So that is the alpha particle here. Now, the second one is beta decay. So the first one alpha decay. The second one is beta decay. Now open your notes to where we have beta decay at. Okay, when you open your notes to see the beta decay. Yeah, it was the very first one that we covered. Okay, it says a neutron in an unstable nucleus may emit a high energy electron called a beta particle and change to a proton. This process is called a beta decay. Yeah, we're good. Okay, this process is called a beta decay. So I've got cobalt 60. So cobalt. 60 is the top number. Cobalt's atomic number is 27. Now, what we just read there, okay? A neutron, a neutron emits a beta particle and changes to a proton. So my number here is still going to be 60. That is not going to change because the neutron changed to a proton. Does that affect that top number? No. But what about my proton number now? Okay. Now I have how many protons? How many protons do I have now? How many did I have before? 27, right? The neutron changed to a proton, so now I have 28. So what is, what is element number 28? Nickel. So I have now nickel. But I also have given off a beta particle which is a high energy electron. So I'm going to symbolize that as an electron as so. And that is, that is right there, the beta particle. Zero over minus one. It's an electron. A high energy electron. 
It's part of what's happening here. Now, folks, how you're going to use this, okay? You're going to have to realize what is happening here on your web assign and say, okay, that, it went from 27 to 28. So it has gained a proton. How did it do so? And there's only going to be certain ways. Let's get through all of them, and then I'm going to go back to the PowerPoint and show you something, okay, how you're going to use it on WebAssign. So we've got this example down. Let's go to the next example, which is electron capture. Okay, electron capture. As I look at my electron capture notes, it says that the nucleus absorbs one of the atom's electrons, usually from a 1s orbital. This process changes a proton into a neutron and decreases the atomic number by one. So I have now electron capture. So I have lead 205, and it is 82. Now, I just told you that when we have electron capture, okay, a proton is changed into a neutron. So a proton, 82, is changed into a neutron. So what's going to happen to my atomic number? Okay. What's going to happen to my atomic number? It's going to go down, but let's do this first. Okay. On electron capture, it adds, let me spread this out a little bit more so we have more space. We have my electron because it captures that electron. Now what does it do? This board. Now what is element 81? Which is TL, right? Now, the one thing when we did with electron capture too, what was given off is something that they called a gamma ray. And this is not going to be easy to draw because my board is acting up on me again. It looks something like that. It's almost like a V. Okay, but they call that a gamma ray. Now, the last one is the fourth type. It's positron emission. Now, in your notes, on positron emission, It states that this process is similar to electron capture in that a proton is changed into a neutron. However, in positron emission, a proton emits the positron. Okay, so it's emitting a positron instead of the gamma ray here. So, what we're going to see on this is that I have oxygen 15. Oxygen's element number eight. Now, it's going to have the positron being emitted, and I'll show you what that looks like here in a second. But it also changes a proton to a neutron. So I'm still going to have 15 because my number of protons and neutrons are going to still be the same. However, it's going to change this 
to a 7. Element number 7 is nitrogen. Now, what is left is going to be a positron. So they're symbolizing that as a plus 1. Now that is a positron right here. So you've got examples of all of these. The depth that we are going to go in with this, you're going to see on your web assign. However, when I pull back up here, Our notes, okay, I'm going to look at this problem right here first. This is something like you will see on WebAssign. Okay, something that you will see on WebAssign, it looks as so. And it says, radon 219, so radon is RN. 219, and that's 86. Now, that's going to decay into polonium 215. Well, what's polonium? Polonium is number 84. So I'm looking at this right here, okay? And I say, okay, how are these changing? Well, that went from 86 to 84, right? So it lost what? Two of them. Which of the ones that we've been dealing with lose two protons like that? So this is alpha decay right here. So I know that... My other thing's going to be a 4 over 2 helium. Now, does my math work out there? Okay. My math does work out there. So, you're going to have to do something like that in your web assign. Now, when I come to the next one, let me erase this. Okay, right here, technidium 99. So I look at, anybody find technidium? Forty-three. Now, it's telling me that this has decayed into ruthenium-99. So, ruthenium is 44. Are you? Now, as I'm looking, okay... As I'm looking at this, what has happened? Okay. We have went, we have gained a proton. Correct? So, my atomic number has went up one. My atomic mass was still 99. So, of the four, I know this is not alpha, correct? 
Okay? Could it be beta decay? Yes. Could it be electron capture? No. Could it be positron emission? No. No. So this is what? Beta decay. So what's going to happen to this one? On my beta decay, I'm going to be giving up a high energy electron. So basically, folks, I have given you four examples, one of each one. Okay? I've given you one of each one. You are going to need to use those examples to do the worksheet that I give you for tonight's homework.